Calling a young black politician the next Obama normally tells you more about the journalists saying it than it does about the young black politician. Let us bring hope. Let us bring about change. Except, perhaps, when it comes to Moosey, my money. Our destiny is in our hands. They call him an Akasi boy born in the townships now the rising star of the official opposition, the Democratic Alliance. Until today, the centrist party had a white face in charge, Helen Zilla. Then, this. And the winner is, your new leader is The party's problem was it was perceived as a white man's party. Note today's audience. One of the first things he did, address the elephant in the room. I simply don't agree with those who say that they don't see color. Because if you don't see that I'm black, then you don't see me at all. Then on cue, the crowd got to see his wife. <laughs> the party see this clean-cut Baptist minister as the perfect foil to the ANC's Jacob Zuma damaged by allegations of corruption and soaring unemployment. For you, Honourable President, are not an honourable man. You're a broken man presiding of a broken society. Slick political broadcasts aside, though, the legacy of Nelson Mandela still, of course, has enormous electoral resonance here. The ANC had a 60% share of the votes in last year's election. Critics point out that this is an inexperienced player. The harsher ones that he's a black face for a party with a white heart. South African politics is always a high voltage affair. But today, the opposition attached the electrodes. 